Well, good morning, everybody. Cheers. All right, Monday morning, day one, April 27th. Not where we thought we were gonna be, huh? We're supposed to be back in school. This has turned out to be one strange year. So we're starting Monty's May 2020 series. 20 minutes a day, 20 days, 20 lessons, not that big a deal, but my idea is to inspire you every morning. Then you do whatever we talk about and you respond to me and inspire me back. I have been amazed at the things that you've created with toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. Some of you did all the math, just snapped photos and sent it. Some of you have actually done all of the math here. Oh my gosh. Never imagined that could happen. Nice going, Tanya. But it's Monday. We've got to get started here. How do we start out on a Monday? It's Shout Out Monday. So the very first thing we got to do is we got to turn our sirens on here. And the next thing we got to do is our Shout Out Mondays. Shout Out Monday is where I take a moment and I thank everybody that emailed, texted, phoned, submitted and went over and above what I thought was going to happen. If you've noticed, each week this list gets longer and longer and longer. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, welcome back Darrell, Austin, Clara, Quinn, Kira, Abby, Monroe, Lucas, Jalen's back, Ari, Sydney, Ariam, Patrick, Noah, Kieran's first time, he visited us during the virtual classroom. JD, Autumn, Kinsey, Tessa, Grace, Cole, Dylan, JC, James, Cadence with an I, Hillary, Joshua, Lexi, Mr. Red, Ryan, Lane, Braden, Abigail, Kaylin's back, Austin, Zane, Bree, Mirtha, and a special note to those that reached out saying, I want to raise my grade and turning in massive amounts of photos of their work. Cam, Mr. Kakuda, Grace, Tanya, and then I want to do a special shout out to Cody. Cody's not actually part of our class, but he's one of our breakfast buddies and lunch buddies. Cody helped me make sure that I got virtual classrooms down and Zoom down and the team's videos down. And Cody actually finished the word search faster than anybody during the virtual classroom last week. Okay, don't forget virtual classroom today. Okay, every Monday is Mathematics Day in Spokane Public Schools. I'm gonna see you today from one to two. If you wanna stop by, say hi, visit the virtual classroom. So. Shout outs and thank yous for this Monday. I gotta retool the board here because remember today is day one. In with the new. See you soon. Okay, here's part two. Let's get ready for the May 2020 series. What are the expectations from me toward you? I expect inspiration and fun. My goal every morning is for you to go, oh, I never thought of that. And then maybe you crack a little smile and have a little bit of fun. Serious. Watch the morning video, do a little math, submit a photo of whatever you did to get credit. Now, some of you, this is not easy. You can't just walk in, hit print, and print out all 20 pages front and back, okay? Not feasible. Too much money, too much ink, all the stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Let's be creative, okay? Got a stack of, nap stack of napkins? How about napkin math? Boom. Got tablet? Tablet math. Boom. Come on now. 
we have all these paper towel and toilet paper rolls. Cut them, flatten them, paper towel math, okay? Toilet paper math, right? Boom, how about paper towels? Got any paper towels? How about paper towel math? There it is, paper towel math. Anything that you can do the math on. Now, if you're really creative and you got some dry erase pens, you know, these work great on windows, okay? We might have to find a window in this house where we could do one of our lessons. Serious, okay? Then just submit a photo, I give you credit for it. And I'm going to be impressed with your creations because some of you might actually do a daily doodle instead of the math. Okay, what are we going to be studying so that you can be prepared over the next Four weeks. This is actually an exciting time for me mathematically. I love this because I'm all about probability. This week we got to start out with some circle stuff, okay? Remember circles? We have to come up with an equation for circles, right? What's the equation for this hula hoop, okay? How about this holiday plate, okay? How about this sanding disc, the equation of this circle, the equation of this circle? Wouldn't be complete without a Frisbee, right? Frisbee circle, right? Okay, that's the first week. The next week is dice. We're gonna actually play dice. Let's play Yahtzee, right? And if you don't have dice, do you have any building blocks? Okay, if you have these little blocks, perfect for dice, cool? The following week, cards, right? Pick a card, any card, right? You ever tossed cards? How many cards can you land in the bucket? All right. And then the final week is all about probability and chance. If you have an assortment, I reach into the bucket and I pull out one. What's the probability of picking Doritos if there's five of the 28 bags? Right? Five out of 28. Easy math. The key is, after I've got the Doritos out, the next person shows up, what's the probability of them picking? How about Funyuns? That's what we're going to be learning during this month. Okay, so get ready. Don't worry that you have to print it. I think it would be really cool if you've looked in the mail because I mailed every student this cover page with some of the master cheat sheets like your Yahtzee card, okay? So look in the mail, find this sheet. Many of your teachers have been posting things for you to do during the month of May. Take a moment and fill out the calendar, okay? You know that Monday is Mathematics Day. When are your virtual classrooms, your Zoom classrooms, your Teams classrooms on the other days of the week, okay? And remember, mathematically, we're only talking Monday through Thursday, 20 minutes a day. Not that big a deal. All right? So today, you were supposed to watch two videos. If you haven't watched those videos, log in, go to the calendar, click on those two videos, and watch about circles, and then we'll wrap up this day. See you real soon. Well... Here's the final part of day one. Can you believe by the time this video is over, you're going to be done with math for the day? I'm serious. 20 lessons for 20 minutes for 20 days. You watch the video, four minutes. Boom. You watch the video, four minutes. That's eight minutes. This video is going to take like 12 minutes because we had our shout outs. Then we had the expectations for the month. We're almost done for the day. Now, circles. Why do I have to study the equation of a circle? Now, you remember how many times in math have I told you the whole idea of math is to describe the world mathematically, okay? How can we analyze something so that we're efficient? We know how much to buy. So here's a piece of carpet, right? We go to the store, and I need eight square feet of carpet, four feet by two feet, right? All right. Mathematically, length times width, area, piece of cake. But when we have all these circles, we have to have an equation because the engineers have to be able to stress test it. They gotta be able to make it efficiently. They have to know what 
it takes to build circles. What are famous circles that we use every day in our lives? I'll have one of those tomorrow. Okay, so circles. Circles is actually an easy concept because of this guy named Pythagoras. So now let's work together. If you actually have the packet and you clicked on it, you were supposed to take notes, just in case you didn't. Very first page, page one of Monty's May 2020 series, I want you to put a dot somewhere on that paper, okay? Dot, boom. Pick a spot, doesn't matter where. Label it, X comma Y. Now, we're going to end up making a circle and this is on the edge of the circle. We need a center of the circle, okay? Put another dot, something like that, and label it H comma K. We're almost done with the equation of a circle, okay? Now, this guy named Pythagoras said, if we want to know how long that line is, we just use this thing called the Pythagorean Theorem. So, draw a line down, draw a line across, and make that a 90 degree angle. Go. You have a right triangle, okay? Now, we want to measure this distance. Okay, now remember what he said. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? All right, so off to the side. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Got it? It's the Pythagorean theorem. That's the equation of a circle. Now here's the twist, okay? This distance, if this is x units, x units, and this is located at h, this distance is nothing more than x minus h. Serious. If this is up here at y, but this is at k, this is nothing more than y minus k. done. Just rewrite it. A, this length, A, right here, this length is nothing more than x minus h substitute, replace, solve. This distance is nothing more than this dot minus that dot y minus k squared. Serious. Done. Now, here's the key. This distance is r. It's the radius of the circle. So, r squared. Pause and write all that out for a moment. Okay, let's finish this and we're done for the day. This is R. You remember the definition of a circle? What is the definition of a circle? The set of points that is equidistant from the center. So this point, this blue point right here, is the same distance from the center all the way around. So let's just kind of freehand that. A circle is a set of points. If I took that distance and I spun it all the way around, right, I would have a circle. The equation of a circle is nothing more than a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But we're changing it to say the distance the distance 
and then this R value. All right? That finishes today's lesson. Our 20 minutes is up. We still got page one and two to do. Take a look at them, and we'll finish them tomorrow on day two. See you soon. Have a great Monday. Don't forget the virtual classroom coming up here at 1 o'clock today.